FCT police command has reported deaths of nine wanted kidnappers. This is part of ongoing efforts by the Federal Capital Territory Police Command to combat kidnapping and other criminal activities in the nation's capital. FCT Commissioner of Police CP Ulatun Tisu explained that suspects were neutralized during a gun battle with security forces as part of clearance operations in kidnappers' dens located in Quarry Forest of Kaduna State and Gauraka Forest in Niger State. ADBN correspondent Fumilo Ademi brings the reports. FCT Commissioner of Police CP Ulatun Tisu who briefed newsmen on the atrocity of the bandits and where they were arrested, listed exhibits recovered from them to include five AK-47 rifles, 100 rounds of live 7.62 ammunition, 10 AK-47 magazines, among others. CP Disu explained that the suspects were responsible for various armed robbery and kidnapping attacks on Dede, Bwari and Dawaki communities in the FCT. We are so happy to inform you on the arrest of these wanted kidnappers. Uh, this group of kidnappers we are going to display to you today belong to the group of Buderi Yedu. The other one belongs to Shomu Manu. They have been operating in Kaduna, FCT, Niger, Casino for the past four years. Present at the parade were kidnapped victims who narrated their ordeal in the hands of the kidnappers. When he reached uh, Kachia uh, 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 Axis, the ransom he took there was 8.2 million naira. And then they held him as well. Now, after much uh, struggle and then uh, communication with them, they moved them to Zamfara Axis. All this trekking from here, Abuja, to Kachia, was striking, not uh, uh, there wasn't any mo mo mobility. So from Kachia, they, they proceeded by, by foot to uh, Zamfara Axis. One of the suspected kidnappers spoke on his level of involvement in the crime. Uh, we kidnap people for ransom. In total, I have made 600,000 naira from it. The command, however, reaffirmed its zero tolerance policy on crime and criminality in the FCT and its environs. Fumilola Adeyemi, ADBN News.